did y'all do? Forget to put your glasses on this morning? You look out of focus to me. Dang, I say. Oh, well, y'all look a lot better now. I'm gonna put my hat on. It just seems more right. It's a pretty little banjo, really. This is one of those baked light pots. Uh, I think it was Harmony that made these with the baked light pots. Harmony, does that sound right? Or Honer? Maybe it was Honer. Harmony, Honer. One of those H name sounding banjos. I can't remember which. Which. And I don't know which this is. A uh, good little peanut won't hurt it none. Probably wouldn't hurt that. We'll try to blow as much of the dirt out of this edge thing here as I can too while I'm at it. Oh, just give her a little cleaning up. It won't hurt it none. It'll still play good when you get through with it, I think. I'll try it anyway. By the way, I sure am enjoying my day off work. I'm just saying. I think I enjoy every day I get off work. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had one that I didn't enjoy. Unless I was down with a bad flu or something like that. And even that I might have enjoyed somewhat. I don't know, hard to say. I like I like having time off. I know one of these days I'm gonna retire. When I retire, I think I'm gonna be okay. I know a lot of people talk about retiring, they can't figure out what to do with themselves. I got a feeling I ain't gonna be one of them kind of guys. I got a feeling when I retire, I'm gonna be just fine. That's what I think. Let's see if I can get that rag up in there. And get the dust out of them cracks and crevices there up under the things. Yeah. If I could get a little piece of cloth and pull it up under each one of those little bolts too, that would look, that would help. That would be good. I might try getting me a little strip of something that I can stick down in there and do that. Well, oh the joy. Oh the joy. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get me give me an old rag and tear off a Alrighty then I found me a piece of raggage and I can run up under these banjo bolts and that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feed it in from this side and pull it out from the other side. Ooh, I might need my little tool for that. Yeah, that works. Look at there. Oh, ain't that pretty? Oh, just look at it. Oh, that's just lovely. See what I'm doing there? I'm, I'm pulling that along up under these bolts in order to clean them dust out from under there because you can't get your fingers or a rag or anything up under them. But by doing this here, see, I'm, I'm able to kind of dust them off as I go. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh, that's just lovely. Once again, I think I said this a while ago, I wanted to thank Dead Eye Dan for this year banjo. He, one of the first times I met him, he showed up and he had this thing and the, the neck was broke. Just about half and two and he said, this thing ain't no good and it can't be fixed or something like that. And I don't know if he said it couldn't be fixed, but maybe he said that somebody told him it couldn't be fixed. Of course, you know, you bring me something that can't be fixed, well, that's just like, that's just like waving a stake in front of a hungry dog, you know? You tell me something can't be fixed. Well, I don't know what that would sound like. Probably doesn't. Probably not any good. I started to wonder what it would sound like with that rag stuff behind the bolts, but it'd probably take away some of the vibrational effect. And you need your vibrational effect on a banjo to get the sound out of it. You got a banjo that don't vibrate, and uh, you ain't got much sound coming out of it. That's what I say. That's what I say. Anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about Dead Eye Dan uh, bringing me this banjo that was broke and no good and couldn't be fixed. And I glued her up. She sat around the house here for, oh, a long time. And, and I just thought, well, today is the day. We'll clean this baby up and we'll uh, put some trains on her. Let's see what she sounds like. This is a banjo day for me. I just decided to take the rest of the day and play the banjo. That's what I, that's what I want to do. But I'm overdue. I'm overdue for playing. I'm overdue for fixing. I got some pieces and some parts laying around here that want to be fixed and need to be fixed. Oh, look at that. Look how dirty that is. Let's clean that up. So, I might even put a little oil on that neck once I get it clean. Put a little uh, lightweight oil on it. Clean it up a little bit. What was I talking about? I forgot. Y'all remember? I 
think I was talking about fixing things. Well, I can't remember for sure. Sometimes I just wander off. I just wander off in a conversation inside my own head sometimes, and then I, I look around and I think, okay, so what was I talking about? What was I thinking about? What was that last thing that was going on in my head that I done forgot now? Ooh, just look at it. it looks good. I'm going to get a little bit of oil. I got some, uh, I think it's some Gibson oil, some kind of oil over there. I'm going to just put a little bit right on that neck make it nice. I'll make it nice. Oh, look at the back of there. Dust and stuff in there, too. Clean that up. Clean that up, too. Clean it up. Clean it out. Let's see, I was going to get me some oil and put on that. Stuff says it's Gibson pump polish, and I don't know where I got it from. I might have bought it. Looks a lot like furniture polish to me. That's probably what it is. I have used Glade to clean these things with too. Put a little Glade on the wood, you know, rub it in a little wax. Good for it. Helps to preserve things. Make some shiny oak. Pretty. All right, that looks pretty. Okay, let's string this baby. Let's string her up. String her up, boys. Let's string her up. 